name's AJ uh, Burned, and I'm from Pasco, Washington. Um, before I started coming to church, um, I really didn't have a strong like religious background. My parents, you know, we went to church when we were little, but we kind of fell out of it as we grew up. Um, and then when my parents got divorced, my mom started getting back into religion, and I was just doing my own thing for a long time. And I just felt like there was something missing a lot of the time. One day I was at work and I was just feeling really, you know, out of it. You know, I just felt like there had to be more to life than just working a nine to five and and going home and playing video games. Really the only person that I knew that was like super religious or that had any, you know, connection to me was, was Sylvia. And she had, um, I had texted her and I was, I was asking her about, you know, Jesus and God and religion. And she said, you know, hey, we're, we're having church today. Like, today's Wednesday. You should, you should come to this church. I, I think you'd really like it. And I started asking her about it. And I was still really hesitant. I didn't want to come. You know, and then she's like, yeah, it's, a, you know, it's, it's by McCurley, which just happened to be the place where I got a job. And I was like, man, that's another coincidence. Just all these coincidences started adding up. And so I was like, hey, man, wh why not? You know, and then I showed up and just nothing like I was used to. You know, church to me had always been, you know, sit down, be quiet, face the front, don't make any noise. And then you come here and people are, you know, shaking your hand and, and hey, how's it going? Like they've known you their whole life. And it just was different. And I don't know, I think I cried probably four or five times during the first service. I just felt like everything that Vlad was saying was just like, so spot on to what was going on in my life. I'd say the biggest turning point when I knew that, you know, I, I had to give my life to Christ was when I saw my brother, you know, knowing that when I took him to church and seeing him, having the message that Vlad preached to him hit him the way it did, it made me feel like, yeah, like, this is, I know this is real and I need to just, you know, get other people to do it because it can change your life. It'll give you get it'll give you the hope that you know that nothing else in this world can give you. So I'm getting baptized um, to honor the commitment that I've made, um, not only to myself, but I you know I saw Nufo's testimony and it touched me, and so I figured you know life's so short that you know if I can help one person you know get salvation, find that that hope that I was missing, that I need I needed to get baptized. My goals, you know, I want to become closer to the Holy Spirit, closer to God, and through doing that, I want to be able to, you know, show others what I've learned and hopefully lead them to a life of salvation. AJ, AJ, do you believe in Jesus Christ as God's Son and your personal Lord and Savior? Yes, I do. Do you promise to follow Him with good and clear conscience for the rest of your life? Yes, I do. Now, based on this confession of faith, and your commitment we will baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Chains are broken, cause you spoke it. It is finished at the cross. Now I'm living, but your freedom 
Jesus, you have set me free. Come on, put your hands together, church. By the power of your spirit, every captive is released. Nothing's purpose, I am living. Jesus, you have set me free.